Hi everybody, Jesse here, and um, I'm at my friend's Phil and Christine's land. It's in northern Arizona, um, sort of near Flagstaff, about an hour away from Flagstaff. And as you can see behind me here, um, it's a juniper and pinion forest. Uh, pretty dry, about six inches, six to nine inches a year of rain. And um, very clay soil, so you can see the road here. Uh, very, a lot of clay in the soil. And most of their property is up here, kind of on this hill. Um, pretty rocky up there, and so what we have here is some problems with erosion. We got when the rain comes through and the monsoons come through, they wash right off that hill. They're making all these gullies down their road here, eroding out their road. Uh, we also got these gullies coming in here down the land. So basically, all the water that's falling on this hill is just rushing right off. So. We're going to use some permaculture techniques. Uh, I've been doing some little demonstrations while I was here to show them what they can do to catch that water and store it up here on a hill so it can slow slow down, soak in, and they can use that water to, to plant trees and plant food and other, other things they want. Okay, so like I said, we have these gullies here. This gully here is collecting a lot of water from up by the house. Come down to this road and just basically washing out the road. But what we did the other day we made an A-frame level and you can see those flags over there we've marked out some contours on this this nice open space over here so what we can do is we can catch the water off of this gully and direct it into a swale right here and bring it down this contour across this field slow it down let it spread in and you guys want to grow uh, lavender here right? yeah lavender Yeah. Like essential oils, have uh, medicinal plants. <laughs> These are dogs, they're having fun. <laughs> uh -huh. So this is what I've been doing over here this morning. As you can see, we got another gully here. This one's collected a lot of water, it's actually quite deep. And so, what we've done is dammed it up. And this dam is actually the spillway here. So. I've made sure the top of this dam right here is completely flat and level so that when the water does overflow over this dam it goes in a nice sheet not in uh, one one small area but spread over and uh, you need to collect rocks and cover this whole thing front and back I have some great shale up here yeah there's rocks everywhere so you cover this whole thing front and back with rocks and that'll help slow that water down and keep it from eroding but what this is going to do is going to catch the water that's coming down this gully and in a monsoon this will be flowing and we can dig this swale out across those flags across that whole contour and uh, all this water coming from here will flood into this basin here this swale which is completely flat and level you can also collect the water off that road over there into here and uh, that'll dam up behind this little dam until it overflows but after that I mean we're gonna have like a good 12 inches 10 12 inches of water in this basin and that will allow that water to soak in and enter that berm and enter the soil horizon instead of just flowing across the surface when it's we had some rain earlier and the water just flows right across the surface because it's so impermeable it's clay but if we can stop that water it'll get under that soil and have time to slowly soak down the road or down the down the slope and, and we can be sure to send you pictures annually Exactly, especially when it rains. When it rains, come out here and get in take your muck boots and, and take pictures and watch it. Just watch what's happening. It's the most valuable time to be observing. I just wanted to show you what good work you do for our land. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you could plant this up with your lavender. And you could do you can do lavender on the front and the back here. But you can also plant this up with trees. Because uh, swales are, are tree growing systems. Well, I think I want, I've been thinking about, I think I want to put the the trees and then some um, different like they had on the swell we saw um, ground cover yeah you'll have a polyculture of many different and things and on this side maybe do the lavender of the berm yeah because it likes a little bit of less water so you get more water on this side of the berm less water on top but you can put the trees right in the top and your bushes and your support species on the bottom we'll make up a list of things you can use for that Great. So I just did this much this morning by hand. The dirt is nice and soft because uh, it just rained and so normally it's pretty rock hard, right? Yes. But this was just, you know, half an hour, an hour work by hand, but you could get a machine out here and do all this 
real quick. Um, you just back the excavator up as you're going um, from the top, put it on the bottom. That's all you do. Um, yep. This is a little A-frame level we made. Pretty, pretty simple. Some screws, some wood. So I did a rough level on the bottom of this this pit. You can come back through, and uh, can you hold that, interesting. Sure will. You can come back through and, and really level it off with a flat shovel. Now basically, when the string is at that mark, um, it's level. So you're going to come through with this this A frame and make sure that this whole uh, pathway through the bottom of it is relatively level. Um, the, what we did when we put out these flags is we made sure that we were really accurate putting these flags out. So each of these points is the same level. So that when we have our flag it's over there at the road. If we're an inch off each time we're going to be 12 inches off over here. So we made sure we were really accurate with that. So let's go over to the other road and I'll show them what we did over there. Okay. So we're out here on the main access road for their property. As you can see, it gets pretty, pretty ugly, real muddy and rainy. And so there has been some contribution to that from their property here. Uh, the water coming off of this hill here up here, that road that goes up to their house, come down and making these little gullies here, washing the road out, bringing all that water from up there down onto the road. And then that just wants to follow the road and make these ruts. So. Try to mitigate that a little bit, as well as helping them grow some trees and plants along the road here for privacy. So this is unfinished, we just kind of dug these to mark them out and as a demonstration. But as, as you see we have, uh, we dammed up this gully where the water's coming down. And this one is going to be dammed up here, the water's going to flow out this way along this contour. And we're going to have a spillway over here. So I kind of just started it you know, by packing it down with my feet. But the important part is you want this spillway be to be perfectly level and you want it to be below the entire uh, berm by, I'd say by at least a foot. Um, because you don't, you don't want the berm to wash out and you'll have a catastrophic failure right. and all that water will flow out. So after it flows over this spillway, it's going to go down to this little swale. And this is how you start it. Um, we marked out our flags, found the contour, and just one shovel full along that line, put it on the downhill side, and you have your reference point, and you just start digging uphill from there, putting the dirt below, and uh, you got your swale. So this one's going to fill up as well, and uh, spread out over this way. It's also catching some water uh, coming down this kind of path right here. Going to catch that water, fill up. And then we're going to have a spillway right here um, to follow this natural path where it wants to go to the road anyway. So this, if we make these bigger, uh, this could catch a lot of the water that's coming from up on top of the hill and stop it before it gets to the road, allowing you to grow, grow trees and hopefully help them with the road a little bit. So those are just a couple of uh, little ideas that we had for this place. Hopefully we get to come back and do some more work here. Um, but really the main principle, especially in this dry environment and with the erosion that's happened here, is you want to stop that water as high as you can, slow it down, spread it out, make it zigzag across the property um, so that it has as much time to soak into the soil and not wash over the top of it and cause erosion. Um, and you do that by finding contours where you can, uh, blocking those gullies up and making sure you have um, well-designed spillways so that when the monsoons come and drop two inches of rain in half an hour it doesn't wash everything away. So you have to control the water and uh, let it soak in. That's the main concept here we're going for. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you like my videos go out to patreon.com slash jessegrimes and become a patron. Thanks for watching. Bye.